What's up guys and welcome back. In this tutorial we're going to be going over nested if statements. So first of all I want you to create a project and import a scanner into your main method. Then I want you to create three variables, two integers and one string which we're going to call int1, int2 and a string which we're going to call operator. operator. And now what we're going to do is we're going to ask the user to enter two numbers and a plus or minus sign. So let's start with a sys out and ask the user to enter a number. So please enter your first number. And I'm going to read this. We're going to read the next integer that the user enters. So I'm going to assign it to the int1 variable. So int1 equals scanner dot next int. And now let's ask them for their plus or minus sign. So system dot out dot print line. I say please enter a plus or minus. And we're going to read the next line and assign it to the operator value. So operator equals scanner dot next line. And then finally we're going to ask them for the last number. So sys out please enter your second number. And then we're going to assign that to the int2 variable. So int2 equals scanner dot next int. So now that we've got all the user's input, let's do an if statement first to check whether they entered a plus or minus sign. So if and because we're comparing a string here, not an integer, we need to use the dot equals method instead of the equals equals operator. So to do this, type operator dot equals, let's see, autocompletes for you, and then put in the string that you want to compare it to. So we're going to start off by comparing it to a plus sign. And if it is a plus sign, we want to add the two numbers together. So sys out int1 plus int2. If it's not a plus sign, but it's a minus sign, so we're going to use the else if statement here, else if the operator is equal to a minus sign, then we're going to take, uh, we're going to subtract int one from int, uh, we're going to subtract int two from int one. So sys out int one minus int two. And if it's not a plus or a minus sign, then we're going to tell them they, they put in an incorrect uh, operator. So else sys out operator was invalid. Okay, so let's run this. Enter your first number. We're going to enter two. And first we're going to test to make sure that it doesn't work. So I'm going to enter a H. And what you can see here is we got an exception. So an exception means that we've broken one of Java's rules. And in this case, it's saying an input mismatch exception. So we've entered a letter when we should have entered an integer. So the reason this happened is because we entered our two for our first number, then hit enter. And the scanner.next line picked up that enter as our string. So when we put in h, it was actually executing this line of code. So to fix that, what we're going to do is just add a scanner.next line after we assign the in first integer to int1. What that's going to do is read the enter symbol first and then, uh, then assign whatever we type in next to the operator variable. So let's run this again. So our first number two, our operator h, our second number two, you can see we got no exception and it went into this else statement saying that our operator was invalid. So let's run it again, but put in a valid operator, two plus two, and that's given us four. So you can see that it's, our, it's done this part. Okay, so let's get to the nested if statement. So I'm going to make this application only work with negative numbers. So 
before we do the plus or minus, let's check to make sure that the numbers are negative. So to do that, I'm just going to create another if statement and say if int1 is less than 0, oh, int1, and we're going to use an and operator to say if int2 is less than 0. Now that we've validated that both numbers are smaller than 0, we want it to execute the plus or minus. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this by cutting it and pasting it into this if statement. So what this is going to do is it's going to check to see if the integer 1 is less than 0 and if integer 2 is less than 0. And if it is, it's going to go into this if statement. So then it's going to check to see if the operator was a plus and if it is, it's going to add the numbers together. Otherwise, it's going to take them, up, uh, take them away from each other. So just in case the numbers were positive, let's put an else statement here and tell the user that they inputted a positive number. So your int integers were positive, full stop. So let's run this now and see what happens. So if I enter my first number as two, my, sec my operator as plus, and my second number is two, we can see it's failed because my integers were positive. So let's try again, but using negative numbers. So my first number, negative one, my operator as plus, and my second number as negative three. And you can see it's added them together and given me negative four. Okay, and that's it for nested if statements. Just want to make it very clear that if you're comparing two strings, you should always use this dot equals method instead of the equals equals modifier uh, operator. In the next tutorial, we're going to look at the switch statement. If you're enjoying this series, please like and subscribe.